had this great hall, it wasn't breathtaking when you went inside. It was really plain. And uh, we've heard, we had heard that it was quite a beautiful place, uh, but we, who'd been here more recently, we didn't know that. Um, and what we wanted then was people that really appreciated history and appreciated uh, what could be done in a restoration to do that kind of uh, investigative work. And uh, they did. Hill Auditorium for Quinn Evans represented a special opportunity to uh, practice uh, our developed skill in uh, preservation, theater, rehabilitation, and to be able to do it in our home community. Well, Hill Auditorium has always been uh, seen as, uh, viewed as a hall with very good acoustics. So one of the challenges was, don't wreck it. Don't, don't make it worse. I mean, this was the instruction to the uh, acoustician was, don't mess it up. They nailed it. It's a, it's a wonderful collaboration. Uh, I found myself learning a lot from working with them. But there was always a, a calmness um, a, uh, a good listeners, um, always respecting what those of us who use the building were hoping that uh, we would get out of it. We were honored when Hill Auditorium was awarded uh, a 2005 American Institute of Architects Honor Award for Design. Now, the receipt of a National AI award, Design Award is truly a milestone for a practice. It helps you understand that you've accomplished a goal, and it also helps us look to the future in terms of how can we do this again? How can we provide this kind of success in another community? People, when they come in, if they've been sitting in these seats for 30 and 40 years, the first time they came in at the uh, op reopening, their jaws dropped, they took in a deep breath, and they hadn't realized that this is what this place its potential was.